So if my mood for the day was an emoji, that face that I just made would be my emoji for the day. I have been so grumpy today, y'all. And there's a couple different reasons for it. I didn't sleep well. My routine is all off. And I'm feeling a little bit isolated these days. We're not getting to see a lot of people. Emotions don't tell us the reality of our situation, and they don't tell us who God is. They just tell us how we're feeling about things. It means they're really, really important. But when we acknowledge that we're feeling a certain way, we can take that back to God's truth, and maybe our feelings will start to change a little bit. Philippians chapter 4, starting in verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. What do we learn from this passage? Well, we learn a couple of different things. Number one, however we're feeling, whatever we're thinking, God wants to know about it. Bring it all before him, all of it, the small things and the big things. Um, what you think and feel matter to God. And secondly, when we're having anxiety, we can bring that before the Lord and we can walk through it with him right? It says, in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So we don't need to pretend that we don't have anxiety or that we're not stressed or that we're not concerned about changes. But we bring them before God, as it says, it matters to him. And we try and allow him to transform our minds, right? He wants us to think, think about things that are true and good and beautiful and holy Things that will bring us peace and restore us. Okay, we're going to do an exercise to practice all of this. So go grab a piece of paper. Run, run, quickly, 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 quickly. Are you back yet? Are you back yet? Are you back yet? I'm going to say that you're back now. Yeah, we're going to start. Okay, so um, what you're going to do is, like mine, if you can read my terrible, terrible handwriting, on the top, you're going to write um, three things that are giving you anxiety or making you sad. Right? An anxious grief list. So these are three things that you're concerned about, um, you feel like you're missing out on, uh, you're, you're having worries about, whatever it is, you're going to write them down. And then after that, you're going to write three things that you're happy about, three things that have happened in the last week that are bringing you joy, three good things that are not part of your usual circumstances. In verse 6, it says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, with prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So now we're going to get to do that. You have three prayer requests, right? Three things that are on your heart that's worrying you or that you're sad about, and three praises. So now you're just going to say, hey, God, um, these are three things that have been making me sad. These are This is the situation that I'm anxious about. This is something that's been concerning me. This is where my heart is hurting. And you can just talk to God about it. If you haven't done that before, that's great. It's a great time to start. You have everything written out. Just talk like you're talking to a friend, right? And then at the end of it, your praises. You get to rejoice with God about three things that have happened during this time. I get to say, Jesus, I am so incredibly grateful that I am more in contact with my friends than ever because that matters to me. And it's mattered in our relationships, and I feel closer to some of them because of it. That's going to be one of my praises. At the end of it, you say amen. And now you've just taken some time to mourn and to praise and rejoice and talk to God. I would be really surprised if after doing this exercise and spending time praying over God with these things with God, you didn't feel more at peace, right? I feel more at peace. I've known Jesus a long time and a simple exercise like this, reminding me where I'm sad, but trusting that he's at work in these situations, reminding me of the things that he has done recently through this situation, it's brought me a lot of joy. 
That's what it says at the end of this passage. And the God of peace will be with you. We can trust that the God of peace will be always with us. So it's awesome to create some space in our lives to spend time with him and to receive that peace. I hope that you've been encouraged by spending time with God today. And I'll talk to you all soon. In honor of completing this video, we're going to eat some chocolate chips. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>